Hey guys, Ben Hart here, and I want to talk to you about your left hand. Um, I get this question all the time. What do I do with my left hand? How do I do it where it, you know, you can sound professional or full and everything and, and I've said this time and time again most church piano players the reason why they don't necessarily sound like a professional southern gospel style piano player is their left hand is very different and I'm not telling you what they do is wrong I'm saying that we play it way lighter and we choose our notes and then we play it a lot snappier and we also sometimes do it a little quicker so I'm going to I've got my my phone here and I'm going to try to uh, kind of show you some of the key shots so but I, I'll give you an example here real fast and then I'll try to show you um, cut to a different screen here all right so basically um, I would say most church pianists, and once again I'm not dogging this I'm just saying the difference between the two so if you're wanting to have this this sound um, to me this is the difference so on, on a quick song the octave chord thing that you are doing the, um, convention players and stuff still do that, but they do it more in a cut time. So I'm going to do a bass note and then a chord, whatever variation, whether that's an octave or a full chord. Um, but if you were playing a song and you would do it very traditional, like a traditional church pianist, you would do it like this. a more southern gospel person and I'm not saying this is easy we would do it lighter and faster so we go still technically close to the same BPM we're just not going one two three four it sounds less marchy it's one two and three four and one like this the melody is still at the same speed really light and sappy um, so let me go over and show you kind of what I'm doing there and I'll hold this up right here so basically if you're in C we'll keep it easy and you do octave chord like this see we're hitting C octave and C and then going alternating from G okay so what you would actually want to do is to double that up and maybe hit a single note now if you can do the full octave and stuff like that listen Stan Whitmire can sure enough do that, but I'm not Stan Whitmire. My left hand will wear out. I can do it for a while and sometimes do, but I don't have his have his chops for sure. But if you want to do that, you know, go after it. You can learn it with muscle memory. So I'm gonna go low note C and the third and another note of the chord. So I'm gonna pick C, you could do G. third and G, you can go and then And we play, you know, we still are playing those octaves, but we're playing nice and snappy and light because this isn't so loud that you can't go. So we're really not, you know, holding the pedal down and letting all the sound just come through. So that is one of the things that I noticed. And even on, even on slower um, octave chord songs, like... trying to see how hard we can play. We, we want it clean and snappy. So we think a little bit more like a jazz band, like So this is like an upright bass, and then the rhythm is And we commit to that sound because we want the single notes and the snappiness of the right hand to be able to punch through. If you're going, it's hard to get. really muddies it up so we keep this rhythm so light that the lead lines can come out and really punch through another thing that you can do is um, let me turn off that camera another thing that you can do is if you have a bass guitar doing that and but you got to have a solid bass player and they got to really be committed to bum, 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 bum. you can bump bum, and just hit the off that was something Roger Bennett showed me early on 
um, not in person, um, fortunately, but when I was younger, I had some of his lesson videos, which kind of inspired me to do this channel and these videos. And he would do that, um, bum, 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 so you could. You see? Or if it was slower, we kind of just strum it. So like when I do just to close your walk, so you're basically making up for a strumming guitar in your left hand and not playing the bass line. So you're going one, two, three, four, we go. See, but I'm always keeping this, I'm barely touching the keys. Why? Because I, want, I don't want to have to play as hard as I can. The harder I play, the worse it sounds for me. Like, I start messing up. Um, there are some times to play hard. You know, like when things are getting big and you're doing the arpeggio. But even after that, you'll find me in the song barely hitting keys. So, because I want to turn up the piano louder and play softer. And that is one of the biggest things I see with rhythm and other players. The difference between a professional sounding Southern Gospel player and then, I shouldn't say professional because it sounds like I'm dogging the other style. I'm not. I'm just saying there is a different sound and I've, I've had so many church pianists say, how, how do I start sounding like that? And that is one of the biggest things. We, we, we play lighter. Um, as far as, and I'm not saying every Southern Gospel piano player does or every professional player does, but like for the most part, my favorite players would play lighter and turn up their instrument or just commit to that light sound. Let the sound guy do the work or let the keyboard get turned up, but play lighter and be more intentional with your notes and then be really nice and full. But that way you can get away with all these, these snappy things up here. You know, even on the super fast stuff, obviously you can't go. Uh, maybe somebody can. Some of those ragtime players can really do that. But like, I do this. I commit to a chop guitar, so I can do this. If I had such a full sound down here, this would never cut through the mix. You know, all the... Even the... Let's me play this light, even those octaves and stuff, and I don't have to play so hard, even though I could. It just sounds better um, to me. That's how I choose to play and I like. So anyway, so that is one thing. Play lighter on the rhythm so that way your notes up here can, and, and it's gonna take a little bit to commit to it. Um, when I was playing with the Dixie Echoes, that was something they taught me so well. I had a bass guitar player was, let's play super light on the rhythm and turn it up and that way these licks can be clean and, and poke through and that was a, a great moment for me um, between roger bennett telling me that on those videos and, and them encouraging me to do that when i played for that quartet and uh, I, I promise you it'll take a little bit to get used to it won't sound as big but it's okay it's a piano it's one instrument no one expects a guitar to sound that big no one expects other instruments to sound that big but yet when we get on the piano we think we're supposed to be an entire orchestra and there are times Boy, this thing has a big range. It's powerful. You can, but it's okay to play light and soft and play more snappy. So 